we're about to hop into actual tonight's actual episode of AEW Dynamite. And we start everything off, and I have put zero thought into mine so far for tonight. Oh, oh. But are good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. Do you have, All right, I got this. Do you I have got a good. good? Go ahead with your good. My good is already picked out. RVD was wrestling on TV. I can't think of anything, any more acronyms, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah. RVD wrestling on TV. RVD. Rob Van Dam, man. And they got to give it to us in a FTW championship match, with, which meant no rules. So we could kind of see some classic RVD with ECW type chair maneuvers like the corner drop to kick, the rolling thunder onto a chair. Yeah, it was uh it was nice getting to see all those old spots. And yeah, he is slower than he was back in the day, but he can still pull off a lot of his stuff pretty decently. It's still a forest star frog splash, god damn it. <laughs> Leave him alone. He's getting old. If that's a five star for someone his age. I just mean it's it's still real, real good. It is not as good as it once was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, you know, for for his age, it's a five star frog splash. We'll, I'm gonna give him that. <laughs> I, I hate to say it, sir? but my good is the bro session video with MJF and Adam Cole once again. Okay. Somehow they just managed to be just so consistently entertaining. I had no idea like that we were gonna get a whole other segment with them later in the night. In That's which pretty good. I liked it a lot but, uh, because it it was so perfect. MJF just not wanting to be involved at all. And then he's like, wait, they got dodgeball. You, you, I get to, I, I get to blast kids with dodgeballs and insult <laughs> them. Like I fucked your mom. Um, <laughs> the part that really got me though, was after he wiped out all the kids playing dodgeball. Like the montage, make it sound like you're seeing a bunch of dead bodies like littering the street in the Wild West or something. Yeah. Uh, like one kid, I think, even had his tongue hanging out like a body. Yeah, that kid was just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. And then the Christian daughter shows up. She's like, You nerds, you're, aren't you too old to be here? <laughs> And then we get we got that moment of uh still enough of a tease of like neither of these guys are really good guys right at the very end of that too. Yeah. Because Adam Cole's yeah, like, the, fuck the, it one more after she flips him yeah, off. He like stares the fear of God into this little girl. <laughs> and then he's like, Yeah, we're still not done with this kid. Like, poor kid. Christian already got her kicked out of backstage this week. And then you're just gonna nail her with do dodgeballs too. I mean, yeah, she was being mean, but she's got a mean ass dad. It's not her fault. And she didn't ask for Christian to be her dad. Uh, I mean, Christian's always trying to replace other people's dads. Yeah. Hey, this might be this might be his next story. Okay, like, this wasn't even my kid. I stole her from somebody else. <laughs> I just have an obsession with being people's dad. I want him to talking just, shit about their dead dads. I want him to be like somebody's dad figure, just like walk off with them and leave his daughter behind. Yeah. Yeah. You're which, my dad. Which getting slightly off topic here, but you know that means he's eventually got to have a program with Nick Wayne. Oh yeah, the memes came out like crazy as soon as he did. As soon as Nick Wayne like, did the uh, dead dad promo. <laughs> It's like, oh man, he's got. There's a new wrestler with a dead dad. Um, do you know you're bad? I. If not, I'll go with mine first. You know what? Go ahead, go first. Go first while I'm getting my life together here. What the main event was, I can't put it as my ugly because it wasn't anything hor horrendous or horrific. But at the same time. I feel a little bit hypocritical because we want better for AEW's women's wrestlers, and they had the main event with Anna Jay versus Hikaru Shida. 
Mm. But what was the point of all this? I mean, I know it's to help build this tournament and blah, blah, blah to set up for Wembley, but this is yeah. a match that you do put in the middle of your card. Yeah, was, yeah, you definitely need to boost Anna J if you're going to throw her in a main event. And she's also... Like I don't want to, like I don't want to call her green, and because she's been wrestling for a bit now, but she wrestles like she's pretty green still. But on top of that, usually you want your main event to have something with a little bit of story to it. This tournament for Wembley tournament, which is just three wrestle in matches essentially. Well, you're going into my bad right now. Go ahead. <laughs> the fact that there is a tournament for this four-way I, mean, I get that we have to have some kind of story something but come on it's so obvious what's happening that you might as well have just made it the four-way that we know it's going to be and just started building that right instead of oh this tournament these four women are going to win their matches and compete at all in I'm like come on we got we had today or tonight we had Sheeta beat Anna J. Friday is Soraya and Sky Blue. Like you're you're not leaving Soraya off the all in card. Tony right. Storm got a bye. So obviously she's in there. <laughs> and then you got Britt Baker versus, versus the bunny. Versus the bunny who hasn't wrestled on TV in who knows how long. Right, which is what like hey sky blue is the only one that's like you're gonna lose but if it was a different scenario we could see you in that match because you have been heavily featured but that's right. the only like believable name that's gonna take an l yeah so yeah that was i thought that was kind of dumb so i feel like the, a better angle would have been just announcing these four women as the like top contenders and saying all right now go ahead and i don't know do your hockey pull apart hockey fights or whatever you know you know whatever they like to do but i just don't think the tournament thing was the, the best idea here hey remember the last time that soria got into a pull apart hockey fight style promo it was one of the worst things we ever seen in our lives <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed that Soraya is getting better and she's been training I'm hoping you know you're ugly because I do mm -hmm. not know mine yeah um, it's, it's not really that ugly but I have to stick with the fashion related stuff Rick Knox had on black Air Force Ones today and, and I have to know like somebody get Rick Knox in the comments or something. I got to know who are you going to rob after the show? Because black air force ones are strictly reserved for hood shit. <laughs> <laughs> and he was not doing any hood shit today. See, I kind of remember that wrestling match. It being a big point of talk during a certain match. So that's why I was like, I please let me know that you know yours. Cause we kind of talked about it as it happened. But uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't have anything that her, that was terribly, terribly ugly about the show. Like it was a solid show. Um, I don't think there was anything that was really horrific about right. it. So the best thing I got is just a very, very specific moment in time, which is Matt Hardy, the veteran of however many years, doing rookie yeah. mistakes that make no sense when he's in the perfect position to secure the win for his team not defending the pinfall yeah that that kind of bothered me too it's like you've been wrestling you've been tag team wrestling since i was a boy right. and you and you're showboating like that knowing that you've got the win right here if you just keep Matt away well situa situational awareness on top of that though like I get when people mm -hmm. least taunt when there's only one person in the ring and so therefore there's nobody in immediate threat to break up the pin and they come from right. like outside the ring right but he was Matt two Jackson feet was, away <laughs> he was, yeah, he was basically laying next to him yeah 
it was That's roll over comments like for a you know 30 year veteran you would think he's gonna be like oh yeah i keep this guy out because especially considering that if you're gonna keep trying to play up this oh yeah we're still the best brother tag team like obviously you've lost a step in the ring <laughs> but what you can you know but what you can play up is that oh he's smart now from 30 years of experience but no no he's not he's still just yeah guys delete <laughs> i mean that is like the basis of every other single pro sport and everything out there is you get less athletic over time but you get smarter 